Hi clients and friends, Mike Brady here. Here for the uh, review and the preview. Uh, you're probably most interested in the preview, the future, uh, what to do for the third quarter. A uh, quick little recap on the second quarter. Um, if you listen to my video from three months ago, I hit the nail right on the head. I said it was going to be volatile, and I said it was going to be a difficult and down quarter, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, markets were down 10 to 12 percent, depending on what index you want to look at, which brings um, them year to date between six and eight percent negative. Um, the volatility uh, doubled um, at the time, as defined by the VIX, uh, the VIX. Uh, it was about 17 three months ago. Now it's in the 30s. Um, so that really um, shows you that the uh, the volatility the um, has uh, significantly increased. Um, bonds uh, surprised they did as well second quarter. Um, fortunately, uh, all of my clients have an allocation to bonds, and so we participated in that uh, upswing for the second quarter. Uh, continue to think that the short and intermediate is the term that you should have uh, for any bonds that you have, and I continue to uh, really be concerned about municipals, and I'm sh completely. Uh, shying away from them. Um, or if you have municipal bonds, make them so small uh, as a percentage of your portfolio. Could you just kind of kind of trust me on this or do some deep analysis on it? But that's a diatribe that you've heard me uh, talk about in previous videos. Um, let's look at the uh, third quarter uh, preview. I am going to put my neck out here and be different from most of the uh, the analysis that you're going to read out there. You're going to read all kinds of stuff talking about, oh my gosh, this is double dip and that we're leading right into the depression and there's going to be a lot of corollaries being drawn between the time frame that we're in now to the 1929 crash. Um, most people don't know, but the, the largest decline actually happened about a year and a half to two years after 1929. It kind of went down, recovered, and then really uh, plummeted. And people are trying to make that same analysis right now. Um, I, whether that's going to happen or not, I, I don't really know. All I'm looking at is the third quarter and where things ought to be allocated uh, for right now. I believe that the market is going to be up for the third quarter. Uh, we have earnings coming in about a week, week and a half. and. Um, the market has already priced them in, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the second quarter was uh, was down. I think that um, it's been a little over um, uh, oversold uh, on the downside, and so I anticipate that the third quarter is actually going to be up. Um, I think that you ought to really look at your equity percentage of your entire portfolio and see uh, if you're comfortable with it. Um, you know, get right with risk. Um, definitely on the high side, don't have more than 50% in my humble opinion. Um, but I also wouldn't have 0% uh, in equities. I mean, you've got to be committed in the long term to having a certain percentage in equity now. My recommendations, of course, should be um, personalized, and that's one of the advantages that you get with uh, working with a, a financial advisor and a wealth manager. Um, but anyway, these are just very general, general uh, recommendations that I'm giving. Um, I um, do believe that the, uh, the third quarter We've seen uh, it, it's um, the economy is going to continue to uh, to slow down. Um, I don't really believe that we ever got out of the recession uh, for last from last year. It really wasn't over. It might have taken a pause, but uh, uh, no, we're in a recession. Overall, I am bearish and negative uh, on our uh, economy. Whether the economy and the stock market do the same thing are, is another uh, another story. Um, I think it's going to continue to slow down. Uh, it being the economy. But, uh, but the equity and the stock markets for the, for the third quarter will actually be slightly up because people have kind of over-exaggerated uh, the data that we're seeing right now. And uh, that's been reflected in the, uh, the negative uh, numbers for the second quarter. Um, you know, you might be saying, gosh, Mike, I completely think you're wrong and uh, you're crazy. And I just want to kind of talk about, you're going to read so many articles out there about negative and the world and the abyss is right before us, etc. And from a financial uh, analyst point of view, there's less career risk. I mean, there's a certain sentiment out there that um, things are horrible. And and so a financial analyst or financial planner, wealth manager, whoever it is that you're talking to, uh, is, can give their clients what they, um, what they want. Uh, makes them look good. And, and it's also less career risk uh, to, to say that things are going down than it is to say that uh, you think things are going to go up. Um, less career risk, what I mean by that is um, if, if you say it's negative and it actually is positive, you've got opportunity uh, loss. 
and it's hard for, for people to really quantify what that loss is. Uh, if, on the other hand, you say that you think things are going to be either flat or up and they're down, well, then the person says, oh, gosh, you told me that things were going to be going to be uh, going to be up so it's easier um, at least in this environment to be negative than it is to be positive and I am by no means Pollyannish I am by no means um, saying oh my gosh let's put everything into equities and move forward um, a very cautious approach just make sure that your percentage is right and I'm happy to talk with you about what the right percentage might be for you um, so look at your uh, equity position. I do believe that the second position, uh, the second, uh, excuse me, the third quarter is going to be positive. Uh, I think bonds. I'm continuing to have short and intermediate duration, no long-term bonds uh, in in my future, and um, that's what uh, what I think you ought to look at. I also think a uh, very last thing is uh, active money managers. Uh, I think now is the right environment for some of those managers, and I'm. Uh, seeking them out and adding them to my clients uh, portfolios over the next uh, over the next quarter so uh, anyway uh, my name is Mike Brady generosity wealth management 303-747-6455 you have a wonderful day wonderful week wonderful quarter we'll talk to you later bye bye